You know, I noticed we've been overrun with Forex setups, so I wanted to be sure to give you guys some stock setups. So today we're going to look at Boeing Company and Microsoft Corp. Stay right there. <music> Hi, this is Tim from TradingStrategyGuides.com. Welcome back to our channel. Today we'll look at a triangle on the aircraft manufacturer Boeing Company and a triangle on Microsoft Corp. But first, we've got a few active trades to check out later on this week's Trading Maxim. Happy Monday, everyone. I hope everyone had a great weekend. Let's catch up on the active trades. The Great British Pound New Zealand Dollar triggered on June 16th, right here. Still waiting for it to hit the first target up here at 199.86. Great British Pound Canadian Dollar triggered on the 17th, right here. Still waiting for it to hit the first target up here at 172.91. Coca-Cola Company triggered a sell on Friday. I got a really good price on it, obviously, since I entered about 30 minutes before the market closed and it dropped hard in the last 15 minutes. It pushed down almost three quarters of my target right there. With this hugely bearish close, I expect it might have already hit the target by the time you guys see this video. We shall see. The cryptocurrency dash triggered this sell on the 18th of June and it's been going sideways all weekend but that's not really surprising weekends are made for going sideways on cryptocurrencies still waiting for it to hit the first target down here at 122.29.15 now this is Coles Corp and this is a five minute chart we're looking at right here because I wanted to point something out to you guys there's a real knife fight going on right here in the last 15 minutes or so on Friday Lots of whipping back and forth on escalating volume right here. It's kind of weird. And all of this happened after I closed my charts on Friday. Let's jump up to the daily chart now. So I did not enter this on Friday because it was low volume at the time I looked at it. And this wick was kind of weird right here. And it gapped down to right here. Pushed up to here. And then has closed with a really bearish close. And most of this stuff happened in the last hour. So because this was such a huge bearish close on Friday, I'm going to enter a half size position just after Monday's market opening, as long as it doesn't do anything wacky. You know, like a huge gap down, a huge gap up, some weird stuff like that. So if you guys took this on Friday, you're probably already in pretty good shape. Uh, you're close to, if not at, first target. Stick with the trade as long as it doesn't violate your rules. And that's it for the active trades for today. Let's take a look at today's trade picks. Our first setup today is a triangle on the aircraft manufacturer Boeing Company. It trades on the New York Stock Exchange as BA. A triangle consists of an ever-tightening wind-up of the price into a triangle pattern just like this. I expect a triangle consolidation to break in either direction so I'm willing to take a buy or a sell signal from this pattern. And as always, I like to see the pattern confirmed by decline in volume and volatility right down here, which indicates that traders are getting bored and done with the consolidation. I measure the volatility using the average true range or ATR. And here's our trade plan. We'll buy a daily candle close above the triangle or we'll sell a daily candle close below the triangle. On the breaking candle, I want to see this volume bar reach up to this volume average right here. If it doesn't reach the average but does reach at least 75% of the average, I will open a half size position to reduce risk. You can calculate the percentage by taking this volume number, dividing it by this volume average. You should get at least 0.75. If you don't get at least 0.75, I suggest you stand aside on the trade. Stop loss is one and a half times the ATR and your first target is one times the ATR. So let's just say for funsies that this breaks to the downside 
Now just ahead of the close on that particular day, say 15 minutes before the close, set up your sell order. Look down here at the ATR, multiply that by one and a half and measure that distance above for the stop loss. Measure one ATR below for the first target. Of course, just the opposite if it breaks to the upside. If after entering the trade, we get a candle that closes back inside the triangle, we'll take the loss right then and not wait for it to hit the stop loss. A breakout of the pattern should be explosive and hit our target fairly quickly. If not, and the momentum goes away, we want to shut the trade down without taking a full stop if possible. When the price hits our first target, we'll close half the position for profit, set the stop loss to break even on the remainder. We'll then follow stops as price moves in our direction until the market takes us out. I will only risk about 2% of my account on each trade. That's today's setup on the Boeing Company. Secondly, we're looking at a triangle on Microsoft Corporation. I suspect I don't have to tell you who that is, right? <laughs> Microsoft trades on NASDAQ as MSFT. Since I just shared the details of a triangle, I won't repeat it here. And the trade plan, as before, will buy a daily candle close above the triangle or we'll sell a daily candle close below the triangle. And I'm not going to bore you with the whole trade management spiel again either. Those details are the same on all my trades. If there's at least average volume and her full size position, if there's only 75% average volume and her half size position, otherwise stand aside. Stop loss is one and a half times the ATR. First target is one ATR. If you get a candle close back in the triangle after you enter the position, close the position and take the loss. Get half off for profit when it hits the first target and move the stop to break even on the remainder. And I will only risk 2% on this trade. And that's today's setup on Microsoft Corp. Okay guys, that's how I manage these trades. You do you, okay? Make sure you don't take any trades until you understand what you're doing and that you're comfortable with the setup. And of course, the other side of trading it's the psychological side, and to keep the handle on that, I use my trading maxims. A maxim is a general truth, fundamental principle, a rule of conduct, or a proverbial saying. You guys know the deal. Use whatever tools you need to help you maintain discipline, because discipline and consistency in everything are paramount. And today, Tim's trading maxim number eight. Your first job is protecting your trading account. So what is it I'm trying to say here? Well, I'm talking about risk management. You're not being a big deal by going all in on a trade setup. You see, there is no sure thing where the market is concerned. There are higher probability and lower probability trades, but there is never a 100% sure trade. So risking your whole account is never a good plan. And that's what I mean by protecting your trading account. What would happen if you risk your whole account on a single trade and lost? Then what? Will you go out to the money tree in the backyard and grab some green off of that to fund your account again? Wow, that would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? If any of you have a money tree, send me a cutting of it, okay? <laughs> Seriously, protect your account at all times. I do it by only risking 2% on any one trade. That will allow you to survive a big drawdown which happens sometimes. Remember our Boeing Company trade plan for today. We're going to buy a daily candle close above the triangle or we're going to sell a daily candle close below the triangle. And our Microsoft trade plan for today, we're going to buy a daily candle close above the triangle or we're going to sell a daily candle close below the triangle. Gee, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> for both trades, take a full size position if you've got average volume or better. Half size if you've only got 75% average volume or better. Your stop loss is one and a half times the ATR and your first target is one ATR. And that's all for today's video guys. Come back Wednesday, Friday and next Monday for additional videos. They come out at 3 p.m. New York time barring unforeseen circumstances. Don't hesitate to ask any questions you may have. Remember the only stupid question is the unasked one. If this video helped you, click the like below, subscribe, and hit the bell if you want to be notified of our videos in the future. Have a great week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.